how long does it take me to get from my house to the reserve? All right, 7.27. Three minutes. All right. It is really peaceful and quiet in the reserve this morning. Slight breeze. Just a couple of birds chirping. A rooster roostering in the background. Hi and welcome to my beautiful office. just coming up to the creek very quietly and seeing what might be here. When the creek gets down really low, that's when you see platypuses. And it's not at a bad level, it's still pretty dirty. All well, the rain we've had through the week. But yeah, just chilling out on Easter Friday. This cave vert crap restricting us not being able to go away on holidays but this is my holiday I can come out here it's what I'm doing coming out from my constitutional walk get some exercise and uh, give you guys something to watch so I'm entertaining uh, I had a, someone have a go at me on my channel about taking my camera gear out how dare I well bad luck I'm doing it it's my escape and I'm entertaining you guys as well and it's educational for me. I'm learning about speaking to the camera, all these sort of things. So that's, I'm making excuses up, aren't I? <laughs> well, I'm doing it. I'm not hurting anyone. I'm not spreading disease by having my camera in my hand. Put it that way. see anything in there. It's quite wet in there actually. Have a look. Oh no, they're still in there. A little bit of a worry with nesting box number one. It's fairly wet in there. They're still in there because they're on the camera but they're also I could see the leaves moving in there as well so there's a few in there in their nest but it's uh, a long Easter weekend tomorrow it's supposed to be really shitty horrible rain it's supposed to start this afternoon and then run right through uh, Sunday as well but keep coming out for a walk well, we have dipped into autumn in Australia the temperature's dropped. There's a lot of smoke around. Everyone's got their fires going overnight. So it's a heavy atmosphere. All the smoke's hanging around my reserve. And daylight savings is finished. It's a lot brighter in the mornings. But I'm enjoying it. There's no one here to annoy me at the minute. I'm nearly finished anyway. Just quick runs, try and keep away from people. Got some editing to do. Now I'm in dire straits with my computer. It's something I've feared for a long time might happen. The hard drive died that's got all my programs on it. That is throwing me into turmoil. 
and it's all to do around Adobe products. I do not want to rent the latest versions and all that, although I'd love to have them, but it takes away the money that I put aside for my documentary, which is bugger all. <laughs> it's not enough. I have Premiere Pro CS6, which requires uh, QuickTime 7 to work. It doesn't exist anymore. So lucky for me, my original SSD drive, when I built my computer, uh, I haven't erased it or anything, so it still has everything on it. But it's Windows 7, which means you can't access the internet because the browser's too old. You have to upgrade to Windows 10. Sure, we can do that, no problems. But there is a problem. There's not enough room on that hard drive, that SSD, and that's why I got rid of it in the first place. I couldn't put all my programs on. Drama, drama, dramas. Ah, oh, we'll live through it, we'll get through it somehow. I've tried to clone onto a brand new hard drive. It failed. Uh, there's a fault there somewhere in the program that everyone recommended would be awesome to do cloning. It didn't tell me what the problem was. It just said, ah, we got halfway through it and it failed. <laughs> Bad luck for you, mate. So I could see myself going down a rabbit hole. There's a program everyone's recommending that'll find all the Dell files and that for Windows 7 and all these sort of things to fix up your computer. But I thought, no, that is a rabbit hole. I'll be going down and there'll be dens going off in all sorts of directions. <laughs> and it'll drive me mad. So I'm going to have to try and find someone local who can uh, do it for me, a computer guy. But at the minute... They've all sort of shut up shop, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. But I have to do something soon, because that SSD is so small, it's going to have the same fate as the last one. And I can see that it's got the same problems as the last one. I'm going to finish up my walk, walk around the back of the reserve here, doing a circuit. Going home, have some brekkie, and I'll catch you maybe later on in the day. Well, I've just been chilling out, sitting on this log for well over an hour listening to nature watching dragonflies fly up and down the creek listening to the sound of the creek too as it flows over logs and stuff on the ground very peaceful calming my mind getting rid of all the crap that was in my head that's very peaceful and i'm feeling very relaxed now <laughs> had a visit from a lizard just a little while ago came to say hello and so were the mozzies you know they they're never far away they like to keep me company as well and the leeches had a few on my legs the snake haven't seen him he's just in there somewhere yeah well I'm sitting here listening to nature watching what's going on that uh, tree just over there the gum tree decided it wanted to fall so that was interesting just got the camera out in time it's still waving, didn't get it falling though, but uh, it wasn't quick enough. I've also had a phone call from my dear friend Esther, who's uh, my 95 year old girlfriend, very much into hiking. Well, not anymore, she used to be, she used to walk all over these Dandenong Ranges. I come across her from a place I used to work at, doing maintenance there as well. It was a wedding and reception and function room. She used to stay there. Long, long history that place has got. It was part of a children's hospital back in the 1930s, 40, uh, 20s, somewhere around there. And Esther was a patient there and it slowly became um, a motel and all sorts of things. So she's been going there for 60 years, she said. Not anymore. And that's where how we come across each other. I was like listening to her st stories of when she was an army nurse. She's a, yeah, she's a character, a true Australian character. And I send her videos every now and then of my YouTube stuff. She has no idea what YouTube is or the internet, but um, I send her my little videos and keeps her entertained. Sun's starting to set now behind the hill. And it'll be time for me to wander off.
It's another shitty morning. So it's supposed to rain most of the day. What I'm doing right now is checking out whether I can just plug the microphone off my lavalier kit into the Osmo. See what that's like instead of lugging around my expensive lavalier kit. So we'll have, I'm just seeing whether it's worthwhile mucking around with having a cord come across, you know, that, that's the thing we, I'm tethered to the Osmo. It's not raining at the minute, it just drops off the trees, but there's another wave coming through. Now after sitting down on that log yesterday for over an hour, chilling out, clearing my mind, I went home and I had an epiphany about what to do with cloning that hard drive. So I went back, had a look, went online onto YouTube, checking out whether the actual manufacturer had a video on how to go about doing the cloning. Maybe they might give me an extra clue that no one else has given me. And they did. A crucial element that no one else had told me. It was just bloody a simple thing. Have what you call... Have you gone to sleep? You probably have, like the camera. All right, shutting up now, having my walk. Might see you later on this afternoon if it's not raining. I'm going to finally paint my production studio. And I'm hearing a lot of you yelling out now. Finally, mate, it's taking you along long enough. Well, that's right, because it's my job at work. Coming home to do it isn't very appealing. Would you like a tip? When you buy a new paint roller, you need to run your hands across, get all the furry shit off, especially on those cheaper ones get lots of little fairy crap running off it. So there you go, that's all you're getting for today. And I'm sure, Pauline, you're extremely happy that I'm finally going to paint this wall. I've been sitting here for about an hour or so. In the sun, it's been beautiful. Now it starts raining, as soon as I bring the camera out to talk to it. All right, so it's been a shitty day, <laughs> off and on. Lots of strong wind. I got a little bit done of my studio, one coat. And I'll do a bit more tomorrow. I am absolutely wrapped that I fixed the computer myself. Money-wise, and it's very satisfying when you think about a problem and you come up with the solution. So it worked out for me this time. And yeah. It's going to take me quite a while to rebuild it to the way I had it before. But I have a better understanding of what's needed to look after an SSD better. But yeah, it's just awesome. And I've got that sorted out and we can relax and go on with practicing and mucking around with uh, this documentary that I'm going to make. The skies are building up to something a bit stronger than it was just a minute ago. Enjoying being out in the forest. <laughs> a baby leech. This tiniest little leech you've ever seen. See you later. And see you later. Oh, what a beautiful morning it is. There's not a breath of wind. It's overcast, but 
so many birds flying around at the minute, it's awesome. But this year hasn't been awesome, has it? And I know for me it's it started off pretty badly and seems to be continuing. A lot of negative stuff going on besides that coronavirus crap. You probably noticed I've had uh, some teeth missing, I had two shatter. So it's, that's just a little part of what's been going on. There's a lot more. Now, seven years ago, I had the year from hell. It was my 50th birthday year. And I thought it was going to be my best year. But, man, it started bad and it just got worse and worse. My father died and that's it. so many things. It was just amazing what happened in that year. But when it came up to my birthday week, I thought, I know things are really, really bad, but this, this week I'm going to be positive. It's going to be an awesome week. It's my birthday week. Surely it should be good. Well, I was totally wrong. It got far worse, far worse. Had an accident with my car. A guy hit me and wiped my car off. So in... <laughs> there was um, amazing things happening that year. It was horrible. So by the end of the week, I'm thinking, that's it, I'm not getting out of bed. The world can go and get effed. I've had enough of this shit. So I felt a little, got a little taste of what it's like to be depressed. I went to a bad place, that's for sure. But I'm not really a depressive person. So after a little while, I kicked myself in the ass, got myself out of bed, and I come out here for a walk into the forest. I sat down over where I have nesting box number one now. I didn't have it there at the time. And after a little while, I saw an agile antichinus female run up a tree with a leaf in its mouth. So it was obviously building a nest. And I thought, wow, I haven't been able to study an agile bring up its young. Fingers crossed this is going to happen. And it did. And I got an amazing education. Now, it was from a little female I called Possum. I owe a lot to Possum. She took me out of the doldrums and educated me with how the Agile bring up its young for three years. But she also educated me on how to get yourself out of um, a depressive mood. But she also gave me my best photograph ever of any wildlife. So that image has has a lot of emotion for me whenever I see it. Um, it doesn't bring back the horrible memories, it just brings back some fantastic memories. So this year, I'm coping with it a hell of a lot better. I learned a lot of lessons from it. I'm nowhere near as negative I used to be. When things used to happen to me, I'd go, oh, it always happens to me. This is bullshit, I always cop this shit. I don't think that way at all, that's all gone. I'm much wiser now about things you roll with the punches. Yeah, things are bad. But you've got to look for those little, even those little positives in between these negative shits. And it's even right down to like this weekend, fixing my computer myself. So my words of wisdom are, if you possibly can, you're in a situation like me where you've got a short walk to a park, a forest reserve and you don't have to drive and it's not a hassle get your ass out here sit on a log or a bench seat and let nature heal you like it's done for me and uh, yeah just just listen to nature it's amazing how it can help you out heal your mind calm your mind and just drift away Mouth shut, mind shut, just watch, just watch nature, let things drift away. So that's my words of wisdom for the year, and that's all I've got for you today. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I haven't been very much in a uh, comedian mood this week, so maybe next week I might have something funny for you. For now, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and get more of this amazing words of wisdom, click on my pretty little face just down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Click on the little bell, you'll get notification whenever 
I do anything else. Now, if you want to go and have a look at my channel and look at all the other crazy things I've been doing over the years, click on the icon right here at the end of this video. Take you to my channel. It's over 100 videos to choose from. Really, it's all about me practicing, speaking to the camera and improving my skills to be able to make a wildlife documentary that's coming very soon. I talk about all things to do with photographing and filming of wildlife using a flash and uh, lots of other amazing tips for you. So go and have a browse. There'll be something there of interest to you, I'm sure. Now normally I'd finish my video with, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife. But I don't think that's very appropriate for this time at the minute, because it's hard to get out. But if you possibly can, get your ass outside, whether it's raining or not. If you've got the right gear, get out in the rain, out in the sunshine. Just get out of the house. Sit on a log, on a stump, on a park bench. Watch nature, and let nature heal you. Catch you on the next one, see ya. Now I'd love to hear what's happening in your world, so please make a comment in the comment section down below about what's happening in your world, whether you're working or you can't work, or whether you can get out in the forest or whether you can't, it doesn't matter what it is. Leave a comment, let me know what's going on.